Unanimous decision. Pandora is the winner. By the way, two of the judges you just heard. Winner by unanimous decision. Will be two of the judges for the heavyweight championship of the world, both Feldman and Weisfeld, coming up later tonight. Let's go up to Bernardo. All right, Sebastian, you come away with the win. Did you make it harder than it had to be by fighting inside? Yeah. Yeah. I was ready for this type of fight. Hindi pa bro, hindi pa baka next na siguro. Hindi pa nagsimula si Navarrete at si Santisima, hindi pa. I'm predicting around 2 knockouts. 
Sige bro, update ko lang pag magsimula na, update ko lang. O, oh, sunod na, Navarrete at Santisima, sunod na. WBO Junior Fairweight Title. Live po to, wala po to sa TV, live po. Update ko lang pag magsisimula na. Nabarete po, si Nabarete. Si Emmanuel Nabarete po at si Gio Santissima. Susunod na po. Susunod na po. Next po, Emmanuel Lavarete at Joey Santissima. Gio Santissima pala. Next. Um, 
Twitter me pongan oportunidades sin frente. Update ko lang. Ito lang kasi komentaryo lang kasi baka ma-copyright strike tayo. Komentaryo ko lang kasi baka ma-copyright strike tayo sa live video. No cualquiera puede estar en estos problemas y vengo a buscar un nocaut. Next na po, next. Labarite. Labarite at Santisima. Next na po, ngayon na. Labarite pa ang Philippines. Gio na kang Labarite. Nakapula siya, nakapula. He has won 17 straight fights. His last two by knockout. He turned pro early on at 17 years old. Pumasok na po si Navarrete. Pumasok na sa ring. But then got that experience, has good athleticism, understood how to be a pro, and now at 23 years old, here he is coming to Vegas to take on one of the ascending stars of the past year of boxing and fight for a championship. Pumasok na po si Gio sa ring. Pumasok na. Pumasok na. Huwag po kabayan kasi baka ma-strike tayo. Ayo lakas aku konti, konti lang Bawal kasi, bawal Panood yung screen nila Bawal Shout out kay Joshua Shout out po kay Joshua Araneta Ladies and gentlemen from the MGM Grand here in Las Vegas, Nevada we present the first of our world title attractions brought to you by Bloodshot starring Vin Diesel in theaters March 13th and a proper number 12 Irish whiskey the finest, the tastiest, the smoothest liquid gold in the world Shout out, shout out kay Alan Gabales Stay lang Shout out kay Game PH Shout out Simula na po, simula na the challenger fighting out of the blue corner wearing black trunks with red trim hailing from Masbate City in the Philippines he weighed in right at the junior featherweight limit of 122 pounds with a record of 19 wins and 2 losses he has 16 wins coming by way of knockout in his US debut he is making his first attempt bawal po pagkita mga mga idol bawal po kasi baka ma strike tayo idol Bale, komentare ko lang. Sasabihin ko lang dito. Malakas naman po yung volume ng TV. And his opponent across the ring on my right fighting out of the red corner, the defending world champion wearing silver trunks with black trim, 
hailing from San Juan Sidlantepec, Mexico. He would be the same as his opponent, 1,420. The outstanding record stands at 36 pit wins coming by way of knockout. Tonight, making the fifth defense of his title. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the hard-hitting, defending, WBO Junior Featherweight Champion of the World, introducing Emmanuel El Vaquero. El Vaquero Navarrete. And our third man in the ring now to give instructions, introducing Russell Mora. Okay, pasimula na po yung laban. Pasimula na. Round one. Gentlemen, we went over the rules in the dressing room. I want to remind you both to protect yourself and obey my commands. God bless you both. Touch up now. Emmanuel Navarrete won the world title on December 8th of 2018. He did so with a unanimous decision win against Isaac Dogne. And he did it on a big stage. He was the co-feature for Vasily Lomachenko, Jose Pedraza. He put forth pressure on Dog and he really roughed him up late. He doesn't mind making a fight, a real hardened fight. He gets after him. This is a guy who had a okay, simula na po. Simula na po ang laban. For a world championship. Oh, live po to, live. For a world title, fought defending a world title. Bawal po, ipakita ang mga idol, bawal po. Simula na po. On a Tyson Fury undercard on September 14th. What is this, the 1950s over here with Neverante? I love this guy, Lennox, with his attitude of wanting to be in there and simply fight. He's a knockout puncher as well. He throws some great punches. I was watching his last couple fights. He moves well, good ring, general shoot, and a good fighter. You know, that's a... Tamaan po si Santisima sa baba. Tamaan. Put pressure on you with his feet. You can get away with that, then there's the wear and tear, but this is a guy who just wants to apply his craft. And there's a place for that, Joe. You get to a certain point where the training camps are harder, they're longer, the fights are tougher. You don't need to be fighting three and four times a year. You know, unless you're not taking a fight. But in most cases, you can fight two, maybe three times a year. It's probably the right end of the day. Of course, the two of you came to that point in your career where you made a certain decision, both retiring as world champions off of wins. Siguro ay papalabas yan sa TV si Navarrete at si Santisima. Palabas yan. Pero siguro mamaya pa. Ito kasi live to live. Where he scored a TKO did Navarrete in the 12th round when he had the rematch against the man that he took the belt from. That was nice of him giving him a rematch. Si Navarrete po dito. Yung... Puti po yung suot niya at yung Santisima. Wala. Opo, Bisaya po to, Bisaya. O, naglalaban na po sila, laban na. Round one, round one. In a round one, po. Round two, na po next. Of course, Deontay Wilder is looking for the eleventh defense of his title, and he got a very nice visit from a guy who knows exactly what it's like to defend world champions. That is Terence Bud Crawford, WBO welterweight champion, the former undisputed junior welterweight champion, and number two on 
the current ESPN.com count for countless visiting with Deontay Wilder. You can see how Wilder is constantly walking in here. He has been pacing back and forth. Round two, na po yung next round two. In his locker room. He's been on his feet a lot, Joe. Walking back and forth. He's not. What do you think of that? I, I mean, it's nervous energy. <laughs> well, the other guy's not on his feet. He's hanging out on a leather couch. Yeah, I mean, both guys prepare differently. I mean, for, for Deontay right now, he he wants to walk around. He, you know, he can't wait to get in the room. Tyson Fury, he's resting. He's, he says, I don't need to get excited too fast. I'm resting right now. You gotta save those legs because you might be. Tyson Fury has never seen a camera he doesn't want it. Always finding it, always smiling, always playing to it. Yesterday in the way we had a comical moment when Deontay Wilder was on the same kind of couch in his locker room before they came out. And he was with his fiance and they were curled up and he was resting with the sunglasses on. And Tyson Fury decided he would mock him and do the same thing with his 400 pound brother Shane and cuddled into him. And then both guys realized they could see each other on the split screen on camera, and it went south from there. Only to continue on stage and after the scale with the barbs that were thrown. I guess that would be alternative. Round two, na po ay yung away nila ni Navarrete at Santisima round two. Yeah, that was the decision made after Wednesday's news conference. Yeah, continue gamesmanship. Tapusin natin to hanggang round twelve. Round twelve po yung bakbakan nila mga idol. Wilder and Fury for now. Round number two of this WBO 122-pound championship fight. Sintisima in the darker trucks, the challenger from the Philippines. He yeah. threw 19 punches in that first round. Navarrete threw 62 and landed 18 of them. Wala pa pong pinakita yung score. Baka mamaya. 18 lang din. 18 lang din. Navarrete, 62 throw. Yung kang Santisima, tulad din lang, tulad din lang. If he gets comfortable, like I said before, he'll allow both hands to fly. He'll hit to the body, he'll hit to the head. He's very, very aggressive. So you got to touch a guy like that. You have to give him subtle movements. And Navarrete is doing that right now. He's very patient. Santisima, as he was able to land that right hand that Navarrete covered up, he comes forward with a punch combination. Now, Budiga po si Navarrete, Budiga. classic move from Navarrete right there is to lean to the left, show the left uppercut to really throw right hand. And Navarrete doesn't have to really go looking for Santissimo. Uh, Santissimo is coming after him. You know, he wants to get close. He wants to be able to throw punches. He wants to be able to throw punches. Stay lang kayo para malaman nyo kung sino ang sa laban na to. Shout out kay Joshua Aranita. Round 3 na po, round 3 na po. Sunod. In the locker rooms with the undefeated heavyweight champions, and right now you're getting a really good look as to how the raps are going on. The most brutal hand in boxing, the right hand of Deontay Wilder. You see that layer of pads being put on the knuckles? Wilder so intensive this time. Every move being put forth, being put forth by Mark Cleveland, a former Olympic medalist and world champion himself. Meanwhile, you see the Kron T-shirt. Lamang po si Navarrete, lamang po, lamang. With a member of the Nevada State Athletic Commission, as is always allowed, a member of the opposing camp can watch how the hands are being wrapped. And that is Andy Lee, who is... Shout out kay Jin Ilinit Mamaril. Pero gudagan yung Diyosa na. 
who was watching the refs there who said the perfect fit would be to reunite with Brock. Round 3 na po yung laban. Round 3 na. Stay lang kayo para updated kayo sa kung sino manalo sa kanilang dalawa. Yeah, Mark, and Mark Breland, by the way, a great fighter back in the day, both as an amateur and as a pro. Shout and out, guy. A critical part of the success of Deontay. Avi, Avi Villado. His longtime trainer from there in Tuscaloosa, Alabama, J.D. That has been an unbreakable bond for years for Wilder. Possibly, may pag-asa pa manalo. May pag-asa pa. Round number three here. Round three pa naman. Mas agresibo si Mas agresibo si Navarrete Agresibo siya Palaging natanamaan si Santisima Tamaan I like Navarrete right now You know what he's doing He's keeping the distance He's being first That means he's you know Throwing the first punches He's not waiting And he's not even more Wala pang down Wala pang down He's moving around Medyo malakas po yung kalaban niya, malakas. Round 3 pa naman Idol, round 3 pa Maka manalo tayo, manalo And he's throwing these punches at distance, you know He's not going in real close to throw these uppercuts He's throwing these uppercuts from far And that's really a no-no for him In the boxing game when you're being taught But it works for him and he's perfected Yes it is Usually guys come back with a good right hand after a guy throws an uppercut, but you know it's not easy to hit another up with a right hand. Tamaan po si Navarrete. Special night here in Vegas. As we have been spending the week in the MGM brand. There it is where all the action is taking place. Run for it, run for it. Just behind that legendary casino Wilder Fury 2. By the way, they can now confirm that what is happening here tonight is breaking the record for a live game of heavyweight boxing in the state of Nevada. They do not have the final tally yet, but they do know that they have now passed the mark of Lennox Lewis, of Vander Run for. Hill's rematch in 1999. That game came in at $16,860,000. <laughs> they have sold north of wow, $17 million dollars worth of tickets here at the MGM Grand Garden Arena. There is the Hall of Fame promoter, Bob Bear, top-ranked boxing. Top-ranked president, Todd DeBuff, making that announcement. Round four. He has been not four long ago. Give credit four four to both top rank and the PBC, as well as Fox and ESPN, have had a great common-sense leadership to say, make this fight. And look at what the embraced response has been by the buying public. That is the line game that. number tonight. It will be number one in the history of heavyweight boxing live game in the state of Nevada. Of course, we'll get those final numbers in the coming days, but it's going to be more than 17 billion just inside the arena alone. That's great news. Although they broke. Selamat si Navarrete, kuntilan. Shout out guys, Joshua Ranita, Mari Vargas. Mati gas bayo, kalaban ni. Satu sima. Bawal kasi pakita mga idol kasi baka ma-strike tayo. Sasabihin ko lang basta kung sino mananalo idol. Sa 
si Sansi Santisima. Palagi na lang tumatakbo. Oh, parang Malaki yung puntos ni Santisima Rancor, Rancor, malaki yung puntos Malapit patumba si Navarrete Malapit Tamaan dito, tamaan dito Malaking puntos po si Santisima dito Malaking puntos sa round 4 Malaki po yung puntos niya Santisima, 37. Navarrete, 39. Santisima, 37. In favor of Navarrete. Uy. Bakit ganun? Score po natin. Navarrete, 39. At si Santisima, 37. Navarrete 39, Santisima 37. Wala na hangin si Santisima, wala na hangin. Body shot comes in. Oh, 
Santissima Binogbog Napagod na po si Santissima Napagod Sa iba na bell po si Santissima Napagod po siya, napagod Round 6 na po Wala pong na down Wala Wala pang down, wala pa, wala pa. Round 6. So after that big round, let's see what Navarrete offers up here. Round number 6 of our world title fight. Navarrete, he's sensing it a little bit more. He feels that uh, he's got everything in hand that he wants to take him on in this round. Landed Navarrete for the seven, Santissima seven. Delicado to yung pabato natin, delicado. Stay lang kayo para update kayo sa kung gusto niyong mananalo sa Maxim. Update lang. Stay lang kayo. Yes, he knows. It's all he knows. 
So sabihin ko lang kung sinong lamang mo maya. Still ang kayo para malaman niyo kung sino ang mananalo. Lamang po si Nabaliti dito, Lamang. Landed 162.7. Mas lamang po si Navarrete dito. Lamang po siya. Navarrete showed us a different look there. It turned south off for a moment. He didn't connect with any punches, but it was a good look. Seven na po tayo, round seven. Pambato po natin, delegado. Pambato natin. Mas lamang po si Nabarite dito. Wala po tayong down, wala pong down. Delegado po yung mamato natin, delegado. Tapos na po na yung round 6. Round 8, sunod round 8. He was loose in his last fight against Alavali. And it wasn't a good thing for him. It wasn't a good look. He came out, he was tearing it. He got the big gas over his eyes. He looked okay, still hard performance. But I love the temperament of Deontay Wilder. Serious, Timokin. I disagree. I disagree. Okay, that's fine. Listen, I love that. Listen, at the end of the day, you gotta love what you do. Why would I hide my love for what I'm doing? Tyson Fury is in love right now. He's loving he's every love. single part of what's going on, and that's his way of expressing it. I'm taking my time. I guess he could be in love right now because Deontay Wilder is just like his full fuel right Absolutely. now. Absolutely. Next 
Tony. Absolutely. Unheard of. Max Kellerman shut out for the entire between rounds. Joe! <laughs> <laughs> and I find that, and I find that greatly disappointing, so I'd love to hear what Max has to say. Max, what say you? Deontay Wilder's the puncher. Rocky Marciano used to fall asleep in the locker room before fights. Take a nap. Deontay's not thinking about anything but the job at hand. He's actually relaxed and focused. And Tyson Fury has that Ali personality. He's an extrovert. He's a showman. He's enjoying himself. These guys are authentic characters. This is who they are. Tyson Fury is the ultimate showman. And Deontay Wilder lamang ko, is the ultimate lamang. personality. You'll hear that squad a little later on and of course you will see if he can deliver the ultimate bomb and that is the eraser the right hand he has 41 knockouts the most of any current champion Pacquiao with 39 Canelo has 36 here we are in round number eight Larry Hazard senior 59 po si Navarrete 55 po si Santisima 59 Navarrete Santisima 55 so far with the exception Round number four, when we saw Santissima land that left hook to the neck and the side of the head of Navarrete. Not to take away from this fight, Joe, but the more that this arena starts to fill up, you start to feel the suspense and the anticipation of the main event. It's, it's tangible. You feel it in the air. And we have a big mega fight on here tonight. Well, let's have that up to Navarrete, right. 69. Santissima, 64. 64. 69, 64. Hazard, Navarrete, 69, 64, Santissima. <laughs> Two misses, two new misses. Wait lang po, medyo nawala yung internet. Nawala po yung net. Nawala po yung net namin, nawala. Ano bilang po? <laughs> nawala po yung net, wait lang. Ala kaya na troll. Wow, nawala po yung net, nawala. Nawala po yung net, mga idol. Nawala. Yung provider po, nawala. Ano? Play yan, ah. Ah, 
makes a human. Atay! Pero mga ano nga. Nawa pa yun. Nawala pa yung net mga idol. Nawala yung date natin, Idol. Stop na nito. Bumalik na po yung net namin, bumalik na. Michael J. Fox has made his way to take his seat ringside in anticipation of the heavyweight championship. And Jerry West having a conversation right now just off to the side with Steve Harvey. Mountain up on next. Mountain. Sports celebrities making their way in in moments. We have actors from Game of Thrones. We have boxing luminaries, NBA players, NFL players, and Magic Johnson has just arrived. There is something about these two undefeated heavyweights, something about this mega promotion that really brings us back to the last most recent golden era of the big Vegas heavyweight fights of Lennox and Iron Mike and Holyfield. Round 10 po, round 10 tayo. There is Wilder now, continuing to stretch out, eyes closed. He has been so focused since the moment he made his walk in, worked his way through the crowd. Round 10 na po tayo, round 10. He's wrapped up early. Has continued on for the better part of the last 15 to 20 minutes with his stretching routine. And just speaking of hand wraps, if you see that Alvarez is shaking that right hand, it's not particularly injured, but his corner and person Alvarez told me the hand wrap was loose. Round ten, Atayo, my idol. Round ten. Not able to flick it the way he usually does, and that's the last thing that a fighter wants to feel is that the wrap isn't the way he prefers it. Yeah, I've never heard of a wrap being too loose. I've certainly heard of a wrap being too tight. Yes. This is the first for me. Yeah, I mean, uh, if, the right, if, if the wrap's too tight, then as the fight goes on, it loosens up. And uh, if, a, if a wrap's Round too loose, then. I guess as the fight goes on, it loosens up. What does that do in terms of just your overall feel, your overall comfort as a fighter? When you say to yourself, this isn't the way it's supposed to be. Something's off with the way this rap is. And now you see him going southpaw, so the right hand is now his lead jab hand. As he turns southpaw, goes back to orthodox, of course, and gets a combination. Come on, go, say, Santisiman, come on, dito. A bit here. 
good two out combination on the inside. They see the tape is actually loose on Santissima. Some good work here in round you number two. Got no by number you two. Got no two. Head shots are good, but he needs to finish downstairs. You know, you're big and fat, just like that. Look at this attack by number two. You got no two. Santissima has tried to place a punch between punches, but it has been the title wave of both men's here. Bog bog po yung ay mga bog bog po yung pamata natin na bog bog. Sometimes guys can take it to the head all night long, all night long, but sometimes they can't take it to the body. The only shot the Santissima reacts from is the left hook to the liver. Mas lamang po si Nabaliti rito, lamang po siya. Round 11 po next. Round 11 na po kayo. Well, Bernardo discussed the issue with the wraps on the right hand. And you can see him shaking, almost trying to reset that right hand. And then pushing the top of the glove as if to get it more secure. So clearly discomfort with the way that right hand wrap is holding up. Well, you know, sometimes, sometimes, in some cases, you know, when you see a guy shaking his hand, you figure that he hurt his hand, correct? Right? So, you know, maybe he might have hurt his hand that he doesn't really want anybody to know. So the report that was given to Bernardo as soon as that it's an issue with the wrap, but perhaps they're not giving it fully here. Perhaps 11 of both, are 11, not 11. Clearly affected. Yeah, I mean, to your point last round, how does it feel? It's a, it's, it's a nuisance. It's annoying. You want everything to be right when you're in the boxing room. So, to feel a rack loose, and again, I've never heard of this. I go over here about a rack being too tight. But either way, it's something that's not right. It's annoying. But if there's no pain there, yeah, no boy, you can to down and, and close the show and not worry about the rack. Medyo bog-bog po yung kababayan natin, mga idol. Ronnie Levin put ayo, Ronnie Levin. Wala na si Nab wala na si Santisima. Pinaulan na na ng mga sito. Talo yung babato natin sa Tisima. Talo. Talo po yung babato natin. Pilipino po. Talo po. TKO po yung kababayan natin. Pilde. Talo po, talo. Yung kababayan natin, talo po. 
Round 11 po, tayo, talo po yung kababayan natin na si Santisima. Tikiyo po, tikiyo. The numbers were extraordinary. Absolutely extraordinary. Navarrete threw 922 punches. Landed 330. Uy, talo po yung kababayan natin mga idol. Tikiyo po, tikiyo. Tikiyo. Around 11 lang po. Oh yeah. Talo po yung kababayan natin, talo. Talo po yung kababayan natin, talo po. Tikiyo po, tikiyo. Round 11 po. Alright guys, let's take you through with the shot that started it all from Emmanuel Navarrete. This is a the trouble starter for Santissima, the body shot, the head shot right there is what really had him going. And Navarrete goes to the head shot. He wants to hit you anywhere on your person, anywhere on your body. Uppercut, straight right. He pushes you back when you try to hold. That's discouraging. That drains you. And then he the end of the fight lines. Yeah. Uh, Navarrete just, it's just a volume of punches. He, uh, Santorito couldn't get away from it, and the referee stepped in and stopped the fight. Talo po yung kababayan natin. Talo yun naman. Ladies and gentlemen, we have time of 2 minutes 20 seconds of round number 11. Our referee in charge, Russell Moore, has stops the contest. He is the winner by way of knockout and still the WBO Junior Featherweight Champion of the World. El Vaquero. El Vaquero. Navarrete. Navarrete. And perhaps that's the last time he's ever introduced this. Hello, boy. Young. Manok natin. What a showstopper he continues to be. Bernardo. Right. Maraming salamat sa pumanood, mga idol. Sige, bye.